So how does heat energy travel through a solid? Well, in a solid, remember that the particles are fixed in position and all they can do is vibrate around fixed positions. So if you were to add some heat energy to a, uh, a metal bar, let's say, so we've got a flame here heating one end of the, the bar, then these fixed particles will start vibrating more and more. They get more kinetic energy and that will they will bump into their next door neighbors and transfer the kinetic energy, the vibrations, along the bar. So they, they bump into their neighbors and transfer their kinetic energy through vibrations. In addition, in a metal, a metal has freely moving electrons. And these electrons, think of them like, uh, like pinballs. They're bouncing in between the atoms and they can move very quickly between the atoms. And they can help to transfer kinetic energy from the vibrations at the, the hotter end of the bar to the other atoms along the bar. So freely moving, freely moving electrons help conduction an awful lot in a metal. So how does heat energy travel through a solid? It travels by conduction. All metals are good conductors of heat because they have freely moving they have freely moving electrons moving electrons and sometimes you get this uh, you, you're taught that it's a sea of delocalized electrons which sounds all very fancy but just describe it as a freely uh, a, a, a lot of freely moving electrons that's ab absolutely fine now plastics water and air are poor conductors poor conductors of heat and they are good insulators so the, here are some key words for you to learn conductors and insulators now they're poor conductors because well firstly they do not have freely moving electrons so they do not have let's put that down here so no freely moving electrons but also their particles are spaced further apart so the particles are spaced further apart apart I hope you can read that and that means it's harder for them to pass their vibrations on in particular, water and air are very poor conductors because water, being a liquid, has particles which are uh, spaced a little bit further apart than in a solid. And air, they're spaced a, quite a long way apart. And so liquids and gases, well, most liquids are poor conductors and all gases are poor conductors for that reason. So this is the reason that we wrap up warm in winter with clothes. Uh, woolen clothes contain a lot of air, air pockets, and air is a bad conductor. Air pockets, so that's a, it's a good insulator. And it will not conduct heat very well, and so that will keep the heat inside and keep you warm.